Hi, this is Vintage Toilets Vermont, and today I'm going to be doing the water consumption test on the 1948 Standard Compact. I've already turned the water off under the tank, and I'll flush the toilet to empty the tank, and then refill with gallon jugs, and count how many times I have to refill a jug to get the water up to the water line. So here goes with the flush. The tank has probably about two and a half to three inches of water left in it. So I'll start refilling with gallon jugs. Once the water reaches the water line, I'll turn the water back on, aim the refill tube into the jug, flush the toilet, and see how much water comes back to the jug. And this will give us the amount of water that this toilet actually uses. Here comes gallon number one. Gallon number two. Gallon number three. Now we're a couple inches below the water line. Gallon number four. It takes just under four gallons of water to fill this tank to the water line. This is how much water I have remaining in the jug. I'd say it's probably about a quarter of a gallon, maybe. So now let's uh, flush and refill the jug through the bowl refill tube. Refill tube has been inserted in the jug. Now we'll flush the toilet and see how much water comes back. You can see the jug is beginning to fill.
Okay, the tank is full. So this is the amount of water left in the jug from the uh, bowl refill. And it's just under half a gallon. So I'm going to say that this toilet uses about four gallons of water, maybe just a little bit more per flush. And it does a fantastic job. It's probably one of the best toilets that I've had in here. Um, and is about equal to the standard modernist or the Gerber Jefferson. I'll end the video by giving the compact a flush. A good old-fashioned four-gallon flush. This is Vintage Toilets Vermont saying thank you for watching.